Hello guys, welcome to this new video on AI and machine learning. So what we are going to do in this video is that people were asking me how you can test your code on EC2 that is run an ML application on EC2. So I decided to make this video. So for that you just need an AWS account. So first of all, once you have an AWS account, you can you can click in the console and this is how the AWS console looks like and then you can search for EC2. So once you click on EC2, you will see that it, this is a AWS service which allows you to host virtual servers in the cloud. So you can click on this and then here this is how the dashboard looks like. You can click on the launch instance. So click on the launch instance then give some server name whatever you like. So you can give any name that you like. Okay, then you can choose the image of the server that you want to create. You can create uh, AWS Linux, Mac OS, Ubuntu, Windows, Red Hat, etc, etc, whatever you like. Whichever is eligible for free tire, you can choose. Then you can choose the instance type. So if you want a heavy server where uh, you need more RAM, more uh, memory, so you can select the instance type accordingly, whatever you like. And then the important part is the selection of the key pair. So here you can see that you have to create a new key pair if not present and you can give the name of the key pair. So this key is actually very essential once you have to connect it through your SSH. If you want to connect uh, to this instance, you have to create this key pair and then click on the create key pair. A pen file will be downloaded, which will help you to connect to the EC2 instance. And once that is done, so you want the traffic to be allowed from anywhere. You can see, select on this firewall that is security groups and uh, then uh, keep the rest of the settings as it is and click on the launch instance button. So once this launch instance button is clicked, your server will be created. So I have already created a server for the sake of this video. So this is my server name that is ML server and it is running. So the instance state is running key to micro and everything is running fine. So once you click on this instance, you can see the public IPv4 address here. This is the public v4 IP address. This is the IPv4 DNS address. Uh, this is how the dashboard looks like. Okay, then you can click on the security and you can check the inbound rules here. So here are some inbound rules which are very necessary to run the applications on your instance. So here the allowed application are from port 522, uh, 430, 443 and 80, which are of TCP protocol. Okay. So this is how it looks like. Now we can quickly try to connect to this instance with the help of our SSH on our local system. So I'm using a Mac machine. So what you can do simply is that you can open a new terminal on your VS code. Okay. And I'm this folder. So if you see here, we have this file here that is ML server PIM. Now using this file, we will try to connect to our server so this is how you can connect click on control c click on paste so we are passing the pem file as an input and we are trying to connect to the ec2 user and this is the public ip before address that i created so click on enter and now you are into the uh, instance that you just created so you can check if any files are present on your machine or not so here you see that an file is present called as ML app. So what I will do is that I will first of all remove this using RMR ML app. Okay. Now you see there are no files. Okay. So the first thing that we will be doing is that, uh, okay. Once one more thing, if you are not allowed to uh, like uh, connect to the AWS instance, EC2 instance. So what you can do is that you can go and uh, run this command on your console, which will help you to make the security settings for your PEM file uh, sorted. That is called a ch mode 0400, and then you can kill the path of your PEM file. So I have already done this, so I don't need to do it again. Now already I am in the server. Okay. So the next step is that I will be making a directory here. Uh, but before that, let us install Python if not present. So let us see if Python is present on my server or not. For you, it might not be present. For me, it's present. So I will still show you the steps. So you can just run this three commands that is sudo yum install update y, sudo yum install python3 yes, and sudo yum install python3 pip y. 
okay just click this click on enter and this will install python on your uh, instance okay so now you can see python is present on your instance all right so to run some ml application you will need some libraries from python so here i have the libraries basic libraries install numpy panda scikit-learn and flask so okay so libraries are also installed on which uh, which will be required for my application so now i will be making a directory with m m i r d i r uh, make directory command and ml app okay so we go inside the ml app now using cd so now we are inside the ml app so in this ml app using the nano editor what i will do is that i will try to create a app.py file okay so this is an editor which you can use inside your uh, uh directly in inside your instances and uh, this is only supported so there is no other option so you can use this uh, nano editor and here i have some code written for you which is in flask so i will just paste the code okay and let me just show you the code so so what we are doing is that we have simply this flask application we are importing a data set from iris and then logistic regression is there simply uh, we are making it into features and labels we are fitting the data we have created two routes here this is the uh, this is the home route that is slash welcome to the iris prediction api then on the predict we are taking some data and we are giving the species name and now this thing is running on the uh, port 500 on the local system on the instance all right so click on control x which will exit this thing now it asked ask you that you do you want to save it so i say yes i want to save it so then click on enter once again check if the code is there yeah it's there so enter now simply to run this application or to run this class cap we can just write the python 3 app dot pi so you see now that the flask server is live on your instance this is not on my local system but this is live on the aws instance okay so now what you can do is that we can open and check if the code is giving us the outputs that we require or not so we are opening one more zsh and we'll try to again connect to the ec2 instance all right clear okay so first of all once this is done let's try to add this is the home route so you see that once you click on this thing that is curl you pass the public v4 address that we got from the instance and this is the port number on which the flask application is live so you click on this and you see that we have welcome to the iris prediction api so this was the thing written in your app right now what we can do is that our app is running so what we can do is that we can write this curl command and we can try to get some prediction for the data passed so this is the curl command used to hit api on your system or anywhere where the apis are hosted so we are posting it on this public ip4 address on the port number 500 and we are hitting the predict route and what data we are passing as json is the features and we are passing this four features all right so so once you click on this you get that this is the output okay let's try to change the data a little bit So it gives setosa again let me make this something else zero yeah so this is how you can actually run an ml application on ec2 instance you can test out your ml applications on ec2 instance and once they are good to go on your instance you can deploy it further using other services so one more thing that i wanted to show you like if you are not able to run the curl command what you can do is that uh, it might be due to some security issue so what you can do is that you can go on the ec2 dashboard then you can click on the security groups and here you can see the launch wizard 4 which is used by flask so you can click on the security group 
now here you have to add this port number this might not be present by default on your system so you can add the custom tcp tcp and on port number 5000 source is this local so this source actually allows you to run the flask app like the flask app will be running right but you will not be able to hit the api unless you add this as an inbound rule so simply edit inbound rule and you can add a rule here and you can just select this 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 whatever that whatever uh whatever i showed like you can select custom tcp you can add port number 5000 you can select 000 slash 0 and you can save the rules okay so this as simple as that once that is done you will be good to go so i hope that whatever i have shown in this video was useful to you and you were able to run the ml application as well on ec2 if you have any doubts regarding this video feel free to write in the comment section below i'll try to reply to them till then see you next time guys bye bye